Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about Jipkin Cloud Servers and Sleuth also. So in this video, I am going to cover each and everything about Jipkin and Sleuth. So this is called a distributed tracing a spring cloud. It means it is called alternate if you say logging. NG, logging. And logging is the way to track to the trace of our application. So this is the alternate. So Jipkin and Sleuth both are working together to find out and maintain the all the activity of our application. So I am going to teach you where you have to use Jipkin and Sleuth, where you don't have to use Jipkin and Sleuth. For example, if you know about monolithic architectures, so before going to use Jipkin and Sleuth, we are using logging. We are using what? Logging in the monolithic architectures. Logging and logging is the one of the best way to find out the activity, any things about the, our applications. You can get it from this place. Logging. So for maintain everything in the Spring Boot architectures, for examples, if you go with a Spring Boot microservices, micro services architecture textures. So having a some problem with logging, if you use logging, then definitely you have to use logging in the multiple microservices because in microservices having a multiple microservices, it's running on the different different port number. For example, this is the service one, this is the service two, this is the service three. Okay, so we have a service one, service two and service three. I'm going to cover service one and this is service two. I'm going to just introduce where you are facing the problem if you use Jepkin logging in microservices. Service two and this is the service three. Service three. This is a distributed application. Microservice architecture is distributed application. So whenever you use distributed application, if you use logging, then you are facing the problem. Okay. For examples, in monolithics having a only one application and you are using the logging, then your trace ID, your sleuth ID, both are unique ID also, both are uniquely identified. But when you are using the microservices, this uh, logging technique, then might be you are getting some problem. Okay. So what happened when someone request it? For example, if someone send the request to the microservices one, microservices call to the microservices two, microservices two call microservices three. Maybe it's happened. So that time, for example, if you use logging here, so service one logging is another place, service two logging is another place, serving the uh, service three logging is another place. Sorry, service three. So please don't worry about it. Okay. So this is the service three. Okay. So service three, all our service are communicated with each other. How you can trace with the logging? So you have to generate log one file another place, log two file for the next place, log three file for the another place. So for example, in your microservices having a 50 microservices, then you have to generate 50 log file, log file, log file document. So it is very, very crucial task. So manage all the service. You have a concept called Jipkin and a sleuth. So if you want to use Jipkin and a sleuth, just use Jipkin server server. So this is the Jipkin server and you don't want to do anything. You just have to do this is the Jipkin server and this Jipkin server is connected with all those services like service one. Okay. So like this service one, 
service 2 and service 3. If you have a 50 service, you have to connect 50 service with Jipkin server. And you can maintain each and everything about activity of your services in same place with Jipkin server dashboard. Okay. So I will do each and everything. So first of all, if you want to use Jipkin, you have to go to the Googles and you have to search what? You have to search, uh, you have to down download the jar file of the Jipkin. Okay. So before going to download jar file, I will introduce this is my channels, write code with prints. And uh, in this place, I uploaded so many video with uh, regarding the microservices, also regarding the some important point, important cover in the real time I have covers because I am doing work on these things. So I thought like it's a very, very important if I share with you. So you can also facing these problems like uh, when I doing work on the Spring Boot security, JWT, Oracle, Login API. So I face some problems. I just try to resolve these problems. So if you see this video, definitely you get it some extra idea. Okay. Okay. Leave it. Okay, first of all, you have to download the jar, Jipkin jar. So go to Google and search Jipkin jar downloaded, Jipkin server jar downloaded. If you click, you get it first website, click this and uh, scroll this. You got it here, Docker Jipkin, uh, Docker Jipkin project is enabled to build a docker image for this these things you don't want to worry about it okay so here you can see if you have a java 8 or higher installation the quick quick easiest way to get started for each latest version so just click on the latest version you get it jar once you get it jar i have a already jar i will install one more time so no problem because i have a lots of the data Wi-Fi is free. <laughs> okay, no problem. So once it's installed in your system, it takes some time. Okay, so you have to fire this. What is this? This is the Java hyphen jar Jipkin. What is the your jar name? You have to put it and dot jar. If you run this command, your CMD, you got it output. Okay, so before that, you make sure your path is saved. Okay, so go to file, go to files, and this PC, and make sure your Java class path is saved so that it will work. Otherwise, it's saying not recognize internal and external command. Okay, so here you have to set the path. Okay. If you already done, no problems. I hope everyone done. If you are a Java developer. Okay. So don't do anything. Just open, uh, for examples, my Jipkin server jar is downloaded, I think. Yeah, it's take some time or 53, 54. Just open it. When done. Okay. So automatically whenever is done, it's open location for this jar. Okay, allow. Okay, so in my downloaded folder, you can see Jipkin server is downloaded. Okay, fine. And this Jipkin server I have put here. You can see in P drive software installation also. So go to this place. Here you can see Jipkin server hyphen dot jar. So just click on this and copy this name. You have to require this name. Okay, no problem. And go to this place and just write here CMD. CMD open and just check your Java is working or not. Your Java is working, no problem. Clear. Oh my god, not clear so you can cut it, no problem also. Again you just open CMD. Okay, now CMD opens, now you have to type on command like java-jar 
एंड व्हाट एवर यू कॉपी द नेम ऑफ योर जिपकिन सर्वर लाइक जिपकिन हाइपन सर्वर हाइपन टू पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट जीरो जस्ट क्लिक इट सो इट्स टेक सम टाइम्स एंड इट्स ओपन जिपकिन डैशबोर्ड इन योर लोकल्स तो हमारा सर्वर जिपकिन सर्वर स्टार्ट हो जाएगा और जैसे ही हमारा जिपकिन सर्वर स्टार्ट हुआ तो हमें एक पोर्ट नंबर मिल जाएगा तो आप इसको कॉपी करोगे डायरेक्टली और कॉपी करने के बाद आप अपना ब्राउजर ओपन करोगे और ब्राउजर में सिर्फ इसको यू हैव टू पुट दिस यू आर एल इन योर ब्राउजर एंड जस्ट सर्च इट ओके सो डेफिनेटली यू कैन गेट इट द दिस इज द जेपकिन सर्वर ओके एंड दिस इज द जेपकिन डैशबोर्ड यू कैन से एंड इन दिस डैशबोर्ड यू कैन सी ऑल द डिपेंड ऑल द सर्विस ऑल द ए पी आई वॉट एवर यू कन्फिगर्ड विथ जेपकिन इट विल सो हेयर ओके सो राइट नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी कि एनी सर्विस इज कनेक्टेड और नॉट सो यू कैन सी देर इज नो सर्विस इज कनेक्टेड इफ यू रिफ्रेस इज यू फाइंड इट इज इन नथिंग्स ओके सो फॉर दिस यू हैव टू डेवलप वन ए पी आई एंड यू हैव टू चेक कि एनी सर्विस इज रजिस्टर विथ दिस वन और और नॉट ओके सो फॉर दिस लेट अस ओपन योर इक्लिप्स आई डी एंड क्रिएट वन प्रोजेक्ट ओके एंड इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट गिव द नेम ऑफ द लाइक दिस इज द नेम लाइक जिपकिन जिपकिन स्लूथ स्लूथ डैशबोर्ड डैशबोर्ड एपीआई ओके एपीआई आई एप टू कैन से एपीआई डेट्स इट एंड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द ओके एवरीथिंग इज फाइन आई थिंक यू डोट नीड टू चेंज एनीथिंग फाइन यू हैव टू एड हेयर वन इज यू हैव टू सर्च हेयर लाइक वॉट यू हैव टू एड यू हैव टू एड डेब टूल्स यू हैव टू एड वेब हेयर यू सर्च एस एल यू टी एच स्लूथ सो यू फाइंड आउट हेयर टू थिंग्स लाइक ए स्लूथ और जेपकिन सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट बोथ एंड जस्ट नेक्स्ट एंड फिनिश इट आवर जिपकिन डैशबोर्ड इज ए पी आई इज क्रिएटेड इट्स टेक सम टाइम टू क्रिएटेड एंड ऑल्सो इट्स डाउनलोड जैन ओके ओपन दिस एंड आई विल शो यू you can see here all the activity whatever api you can performs okay whatever you are doing with api okay before that you have to understood what is the jimkin 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 is nothing but this is a software aggregate timing data that can be used to track and down latency issue when a request comes in the front door it means whenever request is coming jimkin java based application traced going through the system each request gets a unique identifier which is passed along with the request of the microservices so this is the jimkin if you want to know about sleuth sleuth is a net tools for a spring cloud family it is also supporting the jimkin it is used to generate a trace id spin id and add these information to the server and call the headers mdc so that it can be used to tools like a jepkin and elk etc elk some uh, some uh, i think in real time so many company are using elk it is the industrial it's a commercial and jepkin is a free you can use whenever you want for testing to store index and processing the log files log files it means sense if you want to processing ya uh, finding tracing the any log file any request definitely you have to use jipkin and sleuth elk okay okay so finally our application is ready you can see here in pom.xml we are added four dependency one is web one is dev tools and uh, what one is wave one is dev tools one is jepkin and one is sleuth sleuth okay and this is the dev tools and automatically testing will be added no problem okay here 
you have to configure something the name of this application okay so here you can change the port number so change this application dot properties to application dot yml in real time so many people are using yml only so just right click on this properties files and say convert so automatically it's converted open this file here and just uh, change the port number server server dot port configure port like uh, what what is the port number 9090 anything you can configure no problem 9090 if you want to configure the application name so just like uh, what A spring dot A spring dot spring dot application dot name you can like uh, the distributed logging app okay so this is the name of our application just save it and run it you don't want to do anything if you run it it's running on port numbers 9090 it's automatically it's automatically connected with the jipkin server this one server because uh, your application is uh, storing i mean this application your jipkin sloth having a all the dependency you are not configured anything so by default it's searching the port numbers port numbers by default port numbers of the jipkin so by default jipkin port number is uh, port number is 9411 so it will automatically trace it and connected with this okay now if you click here if you click here service name okay you can see there is nothing there is nothing service name okay if you not service name search something else maximum duration is there something else it's saying minimum duration nothing query nothing okay fine no problem search with id distributed nothing no trace is found because right now no one is connected that's it okay so just click here so go to service name service name you can see nothing no one is searching right now okay no problem go to this place everything is fine your application is running on you can see your application is running on okay here you can see application is running on started jpkin sloth dashboard this is the port number 9090 okay fine what i am going to do i am going to create i am going to create one controller here jimkin server controllers so just uh, create here one controller and uh, this is the class i will change the package name com dot controller okay and give the name like well uh, com controller and uh, in this controller just annotate this one like at the rate uh, rest controllers okay create one method here method is like uh, public string gate welcome gate welcome and here you have to create one message a string msg and here you can put like uh, i am wishing you good morning m o r n i n g 
good morning here you can return return msg that's it okay and you have to notate this like controllers as a like uh, get mapping in this get mapping you can say like uh, value is slash welcome that's it if you want to give some uh, like uh, logging file so you can also do it so here here you have to configure like logger logger org dot sl force j not logger factory logger logger hello double g r logger slf 4 j org logger lo double g r logger equal to logger factory logger factory dot get logger and in this logger you can pass like uh, welcome controller okay welcome controller dot class you have to pass and close it whenever you want to show some log file so you have to write like here uh, logger dot info so inside the info welcome controller c o n t r o double a controller method is start just copy this and paste here remove the start say like end our work is done so it is one of the logger files some created and if you request this file you get it data so for this i'm going to close okay and again you have to run this jmk server not a jmk server this is a jmk sloth dashboard api and this is our own service you can create multiple service also and you have to add just two dependency like sleuth and jimkin jimkin nothing else okay if you can see it is running on this port numbers and we have already called this okay here so just refresh this again you have to go to service name you can see nothing nothing is there and your application is running on you can see here here this application is just started in this second okay you can go here and just refresh it if you search here is any service name is coming nothing service name is coming okay what you have to do you have to call your api just call one request you have to give like localhost localhost this one localhost 9090 slash welcome if you give the request and go to this jimkey server and click here and go to the service name you can find out distributed some logging is there you can see distributed logging app is already coming and you are requesting the three times a few second ago a few second ago it will so okay again if you request this one this url for example one times you can see here nothing but just you run query you can see right now a request is coming now it's for now it's for request if you want to see you can clog this and so many people are requesting like uh, this one is the name okay this is the get request this is the end controllers this is the controller class this is the get welcome this is the method this is the time client address where the request is coming so all known notation what is the time when request is coming what is the address what is the address server finish everything each and everything you can access if you want to download about this you can download so for example if you are using microservices and you have a multiple api so no need to you have to collect uh, you have to go and download multiple logger files you have to click only one place yeah you can see here only everything you don't want to go to see anything in anywhere 
okay if you click here so you can see distributed login app is showing here and just you have to refresh the query you can see four request is coming right now this is the two minutes ago a minutes ago two minutes ago two minutes ago okay now i'm going to refresh one more times i will click you can see here a few minutes ago request is coming just refresh it you can see a few minutes ago request is coming and if you want to see the details just click on so you can see each and every details if you show all you can see time also this is the 6 26 and 15 33 26 second so this is the time you can see each and every activity of your uh, services so if you want to see if you want to clear explain all explain or everything close all close all so it will close everything you no need to do anything okay so this is the process through you can uh, fetch your uh, data but make sure it will show any logger files if you want to trace if you want to trace some activity when request is coming who are the calling this maybe this application maybe this application calling by the someone else api some other api through the rest template or web client then directly it will come to this so it will show each and every phrase information regarding this this is coming from where where which side like that okay and just servers name query fires you can see each and everything if you want to show details you can see details also if you want to download what the details will come you can download also open this one you can see also okay but make sure your dashboard is open this is the jimkin dashboard and here you can see each and every activity right now i have developed only one microservices you can develop uh, 15 200 what, whatever if how many do you want you can develop and you can test it each and every activity in that place only that place only but earlier i shown one diagram that place you have to maintain if you go to the logger then it's difficult but right now it's very easy to maintain everything with the jimkin i hope you understood thank you so much for watching my video agar mera video aapko achhi lagi ho to please like subscribe kar dein aur aage badhaye video ko thank you so much for watching my video thank you bye